Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another fragrance rotation video for the week ending the 10th of December, 2023. Awesome. That's right, friends. Once again, I have returned to you with another fragrance rotation video. And I am very happy to do so. This week has been a strange one. It was snowing at the beginning of the week and it's kind of mellowed out since then. Um, but it has poured down every day. It's been very wet. The river at the bottom of the valley where I live is high and unimpressed by said wetness. So my fragrance choices will reflect this. And on Monday, on Monday I started with... <laughs> I'm not sure if I've already worn it this season. I don't think I have, but this is Dior's Queer Canage. One of, if not the last Demarche worth buying from this line. Um, this is leather, iris, orange flower. And it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's got this slightly syrupy sort of warm moist leathery sort of thing smoky smooth lots of interesting good interesting stuff going on here absolutely awesome my bottle this one is mm, doesn't have the batch code on but it does have cd on the cap and on the sprayer so it's going to be pre-17 um, as I would advise everybody to go for if you're going to buy a Dior Privé, go for the bottles that have the separate and distinct letters on the top, like that. Um, because they homogenised their, they homogenized their logo on their caps and on their presentation in about 2017, 2018, and they did a massive reformulation at the time, and it wasn't great. Excuse me, whilst I hydrate. Okay, next. Next up, I went for something not altogether dissimilar, but not altogether the same either. And on Tuesday, I wore Gucci Guilty Absolute. It was that kind of cold. It was really very cold. Um, I do not recommend how cold it was. It's still cold now, but it's not snowing or anything. There's not ice around. Um, this is smoke, bandages, hospital cleaner, hospital floor. Um, it's absolutely glorious. It's made by, incredibly, it's made by... Um, Alberto Marias, and it's got like this vetiver, leather, woody, smoky kind of thing going on. It's brilliant. If it is amber wood in here, and I don't think it is, but if it is, it's probably the best use of amber wood I've ever smelled. Um, that and leather wood. Absolutely sensational. It does smell like bandages on fire, you know, with ointment on them. You know, like hospital incinerator. Lovely. Um, <laughs> on Wednesday, I went for something completely different. Completely different. And I wore my dinky Melt My Heart. I'm really enjoying this at the minute. This is what indie fragrances think they are. Uh, unfortunately, it's like £750 a bottle. Don't pay that. That's ridiculous. Um, it's not worth that. Hardly any fragrances are worth that. Can't think of many. Um, and I don't think this is one of them, although it is absolutely lovely. Chocolate, iris, um, sandalwood, oud. Mm, slightly musky, slightly floral creamy sort of thing it's absolutely stunning it really is it's just 
is 750 quid for bottles. It's search eBay. Be patient. They'll pop up. They do pop up at discounters every once in a while as well. Somewhere closer to 350, 400 quid for a bottle. Uh, brand new. You know, this is a 15 mil. I managed to, I managed to get this um, from a subscriber for a very good price. So thank you very much, Benji. And I also got another one of these 15 mils off uh, Fliss. And that was, uh, she gave me it at the old retail price of 115. So I'm pretty chuffed I'm set for this. Um, a little bit goes a long way as well, but it's very, very good. Huge dollops of pure iris butter in it. Creamy, warm, smooth, you know. All those indie fragrances that use massive amount of like really high quality ingredients but they're blended terribly. This is blended to perfection by Christophe Laudemiel. Okay, next up we have a different kind of fragrance. On Thursday, I wore Volutes. A sweet tobacco fragrance. Iris, honey, something a little bit spicy maybe, just a little bit though, maybe incensey spicy kind of thing. Um, beautiful. I used to think this had a uh, like a black currant kind of note to it, a bit like opium, poor Um, but I don't think it does. It it's kind of it's kind of weird. It it reminds me of the smell of a of an empty packet of cigarettes, unsmoked. You know when you get cigarettes and you take out the pack, you smell the box. You know it's got that. For me, that is a pretty distinctive scent memory. Neither of my parents smoked. And I would go to my grandmother's house. And she did, heavily. <laughs> she was like 40, 40 to 60 a day. Um, excuse me whilst I hydrate. Just the, just the very memory of that has brought that back to us. Um, And uh, I remember smelling for some reason the the, the empty packets of cigarettes because they were alien to us, and it's smelling a bit like volutes. Really good fragrance. I, I don't know if it's the best from the house, but it's 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 up there for me. It's up there for me. Definitely one of their better offerings. Okay. Next up, Friday. Friday was cold again. Didn't see that coming. And on Friday, I decided to wear something distinctly thick, a little bit along the lines of volutes, um, but a little bit better, considerably better, actually. And this is Les Demadables Vene Havan, the most hyped from the brand. And I, oh, is it rightly so? I would say Rose de Jamal. I prefer Rose de Jamal, but this gets a lot of the love. This is like... Um, this is chocolate, tobacco, vanilla. Um, it's got like some dried fruit at the top and stuff like that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's made by Antoine Lee, who I've said many times, I think is probably the best active perfumer in the world today. Um, very, someone's going to have to do something pretty mad to uh, to get near him. As far as uh, as far and, and consistently as well, as far as making and blending perfumes is concerned, especially his work for Les and Demidabla, it's 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 peerless at the minute. You know, someone's gonna have to do something pretty special to get up and around those kind of heights. So that was Vinny Havan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yesterday, yesterday it was pouring. And I thought to myself, I'm going to get a specialised rainy day scent. Now, a lot of you will already know what I'm about to say, or you will have a choice of two. Either Encre Noir, which this isn't, or this. Narciso Rodriguez for him. Often referred to as the smell of rain on concrete. And that is, it. it it's very much like that. It's got that. It smells like the colour of the bottle, you know? It smells like this grey-blue 
excuse me, by the way, I'm making all sorts of weird noises. It's got that grey blue kind of thing going on. It's a little bit violety too. There's violet leaf in here, which gives it that kind of that kind of not viscous, like this, like highly viscous, you know, like a like a not a petroleum, but like a wetness, you know? Like very wet water. I don't know if you've ever I don't know if you've ever had um water that's had um certain chemicals put through it that can break the polarity so it can break the surface tension of water right and you literally can't hold it in your hands it just escapes right because it it doesn't stick to anything there's no sort of like that the bond is the bond is like broken the charge is broken so it's very strange it's got that kind of wetness to it um very musky though it, it turned very musky on me yesterday i was like ooh. I was like, I, I didn't know how musky you want it to be. Uh, I've, it's obviously I've worn it a few times before. You can't tell the fill level, which drives me mental. But I do love the bottle at the same time. So swings and roundabouts, really. Um, <clears throat> this is discontinued now. It's got a little bit of purpleness to it. It's got a bit of mauve. It's got muskiness. Um... <clears throat> Ever so slightly spicy. Fantastic. It's got like an ambery, amber grey kind of, not an ambery, an amber grey kind of uh, vibe going on as well. So, there we have it. And last, but not least, you will see now why I said amber before, because this is an amber, and it's called amber. And this is Ambra Nargile. I've been threatening to wear this for fucking weeks now. Um, this reminds me a lot of October, November, December. Um, it's those kind of months. It's sweetness. It's it's rich. It's it's without becoming cloying. It's dense. A fantastic perfume, one of one of the very finest from the Hermes Essence line. Um, if I haven't already reviewed this, I might do a review on it. It's not the world's most complicated scent, but it is. It's very Jean Claude Elena at Hermes kind of thing. And that is it, my friends. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it, and I will see you all again soon. <laughs>